Good afternoon, fellow teachers and students, and good afternoon, class. Thank you, Ms. Ida. Okay, uh, you will soon find out why we have uh, positive and negative work. Let's say, for example, if you apply a force at 90 degree, no work is done. Okay. As I explained to you in the last lesson, because when you have to find that using a calculator, or if you can also imagine if you are trying to apply a faucet straight and direction is at 90 degree to that force, you'll obviously find that no work will be done. Okay. And on that note, work will be positive if you are applying force in the opposite direction. Let's say, for example, uh, we'll have John Numa demonstrate to us uh, what is in by negative and positive work. You come. <coughs> okay. We'll probably use this one as a demonstration to show you. Okay, this is a desk. Um, pilot students is a desk, and John is going to show us exactly how we can explain uh, working, whether it is negative or uh, positive. All right. <clears throat> you come and push this one from the, okay, just pull it. Okay. Okay. Come here, and then you try pushing it. Okay. Can you see the difficulty in which he is applying the force? Why? Why does this happen? Huh? Okay. Um, Sulaiman, you tell us why there is a difficulty when there is. Okay. Sulaiman is going to explain to us why what he observed from this too. The reason why I think uh, there's more, um, he needs more energy to push it forward, forward is because um, when he's pulling it, there's the angle that he's pulling it at is less angle. But when he's pushing it, the angle is greater and it's more of his energy is, the force is being pushed downwards instead of traveling forward. That's why there's more friction created between the tab table legs and the floor. Okay, good. Now, <clears throat> while he is pulling in the direction of the displacement, the angle that was produced was quite less, okay? And that is why work will be positive, meaning that there is less friction, so you apply more force, and the uh, friction is quite less. So more force that you apply when you minus that with friction, because friction will always move in the, or it will opposes, it opposes the motion of any object. So that is why when you move that, it's quite easy because you are now applying more force, and that is why the friction will be quite less. And that is why the work will be positive, okay? But otherwise, if you are pushing at this angle, you will find that there is more friction coming the opposite direction. While you are trying all the best, and that means you will be applying only less force. So more friction minus the less force that you apply will always give you negative. That is why we classify this as work can be either positive or negative. And one example given is there. So I'd like you to go through. There are five uh, facts about work. That is the first one, okay? After you copy the first, I'll give you uh, the next four facts about work.
Okay. <coughs> uh, first, uh, you'll be applying more force to overcome that friction that is always acting in the opposite direction if you are pulling, okay? So that is why when someone is pulling any object, uh, it is quite easy because he is overcoming friction and therefore work will be always positive, okay? Friction always have a negative value because it is always opposing or moving in the opposite direction to the uh, force. That is why more force minus uh, the negative, which is the friction, less friction will always give you a uh, positive figure, okay? But if you decide to, you know, apply force at this angle, okay, that is the force coming, you will find that you will have more difficulty, especially in moving this, okay? Why? Because the friction that is always coming at this point is always high, okay? Just like you're applying the force at 90 degree. So, that is why we simply say that if that is minus, let's say, 100, and you are applying almost about 50, even how much you have to apply, the frictional force will always increase. It depends on how much you apply, okay? Therefore, we seem to arrive with a negative value. So we say that it is, force is always, or the work done is always negative if you are trying to push that at an angle which is more than 180 degree, okay? So that is uh, the first, uh, we will go on to the second important point about work. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to Okay, that is also part of uh, the second uh, fact, and that is that uh, friction tend to oppose the motion and it is also moving in the opposite direction.
Okay, uh, let's have a look at the next. All right, two most important points about um, negative work being done are simply If you can remember from our last, our last lesson, there was a weightlifter who was trying to do some work. But we know that he did some work, but this time it is a negative work that is done. Why? Because he is lifting the weight against the force of gravity or the weight of that object. That is why we simply say that uh, negative work could be done. Now, secondly, it depends on the, uh, the angle in which, let's say, a crate or box is sliding down an inclined plane. In that case, a negative work will be done. So those are the two most uh, important points about the uh, fact B. All right, next point on that. <coughs> Work done is negative, especially when you push set up an inclined plane. Okay, <coughs> basically because there are two forces that are um, acting in the direction. Okay, one is the frictional force of the uh, surface of the inclined plane, and secondly, it is the weight of that object which is trying to slide down that plane. So we can say that two of these will combine to give you a force that is much greater than the amount of force that you apply, therefore, or thus giving you a negative work. Okay, effect uh, C will be maximum work done when the force and uh, displacement are in the same direction. <coughs> Meaning that you can do more work, especially when you apply the force in the same direction as the uh, displacement or the distance. And fact D is that if the net force in an object is zero, no work is done. Okay, what do I mean by saying that it is a net force, um, Joe? What is a net force? Net force is the force after. Okay, the force okay. after. So meaning that what are the sum of those forces? Okay. Um,
Raki, can you give some example of forces that do minus the original forces or the force? Okay, net force is the force after or the total force after you you get anything out from that. Okay. Net. Or in other words, the total after you have to go through and then minus or subtract or add and all this. Okay? That is a net force. In this case, the net force in an object is zero. No work is done, meaning that whether it's at a friction or any force that is acting in the opposite direction of the um, <clears throat> force that you apply, there will be no work done. For example, you holding that up some distance, let's say you are applying a force trying to get, let's say push this wall over you know how much net force it will apply? Okay. So you have done no work because there is another force that is still then, uh, in the place. That is why it is simply zero. No work will be done because there is a force that is always opposing. All right. <clears throat> I will now go through the, the last and the most important point, uh, fact about work being done. Okay, uh, the force of that will vary with the uh, displacement. Okay, it varies with the displacement. Therefore, you can also plot a graph explaining or relating the force and also the uh, displacement using uh, displacement force or force displacement graph. Force displacement graph. Um, <coughs> pilot teacher, you can can you uh, show the students how you they can plot the force displacement graph? Okay, simply having force or at a displacement on one of the uh, axes, and then you plot those points. Okay, it varies, meaning that when the force increases, uh, displacement mass also increase. Okay, when the force decreases, displacement decreases. Or in other words, when displacement increases, force increases. Well, okay. All right, finally to the questions. Um, they are just the activity questions. Uh, we will go through and then probably I'll ask each one of you to explain that, all right. Question one, what be the amount of frictional force in the opposite direction? Will it be high or less? Right, you see a car moving through and then our force is being applied to get it moved, okay? And you have a frictional force in the, in the opposite direction. Okay, um, Solomon, you tell us whether that force in the opposite direction. Will it be high or low? <clears throat> be high. Be high. It will be high. High. Uh, carrot. Okay. There. It will be high. It will be high. 
Um, Kirte, Netanya, what do you think? It depends on the um, surface. Okay. If the surface is not quite smooth, or it is a frictionless uh, surface, then probably will have the um, frictional force being less. Okay. Let's consider the amount of work done because you are applying that. Um, force in the direction of the displacement. That is why we can say that the force, the work done will, or let's say the amount of frictional force in the opposite direction will be less, less, okay? Not high, but this time it will be less. Why? Because it is in the same direction as, there will be some fric friction, of course. Okay, we may come up with different friction, but it depends on that, but this time, we are going through and then looking at the facts about work. Because it is linear, meaning that it is in line with the uh, direction of the displacement, then probably uh, we will have a force, rather frictional force, which will be quite less, okay? All right, moving on to question number two. Uh, the question is, the work done in pushing and this of the inclined plane will be positive or negative? Same one. Negative. Negative. Okay. Very good. The answer is negative work will be done, especially when you are pushing that up an inclined plane. All right. If you want to just sketch the diagram, you can do so. I will now move on to Finish, huh? Okay, quickly. Question two way is the work done is pushing this one up, right? From the answer that uh, same will okay, give, the answer would be always negative because you are applying the force and then you have two or you have two different forces acting in the opposite direction uh, those are simply the uh, frictional force and the weight which are against the force that you apply so we might have a greater frictional force Okay, moving on to <coughs> third question. B is state some other forces that opposes that motion. Um, okay, mission, you state or give us the forces that are opposing that motion. of the box. Okay, the weight of that object and what else? Failing. Friction. Friction. Okay, good. Two forces are more common. One is friction and the other one will be the weight. Okay. The weight of that object because it's always trying to come back down that inclined plane. And then you are pushing against the uh, surface of that inclined plane. So 
So probably those two forces would be more. OK. Um, we have question number three, A and B. Explain the amount of work done in each case below, meaning that you state whether it's going to be a positive work or negative work done. Question 3A, can you say what kind of work will be done? Okay. The work done will be negative. Okay. The work done will be negative. Okay, that is correct. And B, um, Malcolm. Zero work is done in that case because the uh, force is applied perpendicular or let's say at 90 degree to the displacement. All right, so having to look at all of these uh, fact, you find that in fact one is that <coughs> when you apply a force at 90 degree, no work is done. Secondly, the amount of work done will be depending on the angle that is produced. If it is 90 degree, no work. If it is more than 90, uh, 90 degree, you will have uh, negative work done. If it is less than 90 degree, you'll have a positive work done. Okay, why did they have positive and negative work? Because when you are trying to pull something in a direction, you will do that quite easily. Okay, you do that quite easily. And therefore, the force that you apply will be without any difficulty and the frictional force is less. Okay, that is why the more force you apply and the frictional force is less, you get a positive number. But otherwise, when you are pushing that, you apply a lot of force, but this time the frictional force is almost trying to overrun the force that you apply. Therefore, because we have minus for frictional force, the more force you apply, the frictional will still increase at an angle, especially if it is more than. That is why we seem to arrive with a uh, figure or number that is more than or minus, okay, which is negative. That is why we can say more than that, uh, 90 degree, you have a negative work done. And also, when you're applying force at an ankle, up an inclined plane, or if you are lifting anything, a weight lifter does work However, the amount of work that is done is simply negative because the weight of that object he or she is lifting is simply against the motion and you will find that it will be more than the weight or the force that he or she is ap applying. And it is similar to inclined plane. Work would be also maximum if you apply the force in the same direction, meaning that it will be more if you apply the force in the same direction as the a displacement, okay, which is straight. And lastly, if you are trying to plot all of this information, you can use a uh, displacement and force graph, okay, to plot this information because uh, various variation happens in these two. Uh, as force increases, uh, the displacement must also increase, increase, okay. So trying to get it from one point to the next, you have to apply a lot of force. If you kick, <coughs> let's say, a soccer ball hard, it will go a very long distance. That is what it means. If you kick it, apply a little force, it will go a very short distance, okay? All right, so that brings us to the end of the lesson, and 
our key phrase will be okay if you did not uh, check out your answers these are the answers to our uh, activity questions right you can go through that and then have a look at it and okay make corrections and okay check your answers Number one would be less, uh, the work done. Uh, the frictional force, number two would be negative. And friction and weight, uh, negative work for three A and uh, zero or no work done, especially on the third B. Okay, so those are the uh, answers. And finally, to our key phrase. Okay, and that is some important fact about Good afternoon, pilot teachers and students, and good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, All right, thank you.